Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this simple crochet scarf. It's a great pattern for beginners and the written pattern is available for free on my blog. The link is in the description bar. You will need Aran or worsted weight yarn, a 6mm crochet hook, a darning needle and some scissors. To begin create a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook into the loop. We're now going to chain 32. So to chain, yarn over and pull through a loop. And you've created your first chain. Repeat this until you have 32 chains. Once we have 32 chains, we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. To single crochet, insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And there you have your single crochet. We're going to chain one. Skip one chain along the foundation chain. And single crochet into the next chain. We're going to repeat, chain 1, skip 1 chain, single crochet into the next chain, until the end of the row. In total, you should have 16 single crochets and 15 chains. At the end of the row, turn your work. To start row 2, chain 1. This chain 1 at the beginning of the row doesn't count as a stitch. Single crochet into the first stitch. Chain 1, skip the chain space. And then single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat chain 1, skip the chain space and single crochet into the next stitch until the end of the row. Your single crochet should stack directly on top of each other. At the end of the row, make sure to place a single crochet on top of the last stitch. Turn your work. And we're going to repeat row 2 until the end of row 284. So to start the row, chain 1, and this doesn't count as a stitch. Single crochet into the first stitch. Chain 1, skip the chain space and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat chain 1, skip the chain space and single crochet into the next stitch all the way until the end of the row. You can easily change the length of your scarf by adding or removing rows. After you've worked up a few rows, you'll start to be able to see the stitch texture of the scarf. Once you've reached your desired length, fasten off. Cut your yarn. Weave in all of your ends. And you've finished your easy in the cloud scarf. 